All right, guys, this is the watch this video for Tuesday. Uh, let me let me figure out the Tuesday, September 8th, in case you didn't know the market is closed on Monday. So showing you the chart of the spies I always start with and a couple nasty red days, although a uh, really big intraday bounce there in, in the spy. And uh, if you were in chat, I mentioned a Tesla idea. I'll show that real quick. Uh, TSLA. Um, when it was down here at 375-ish, well, I, I mentioned it before it got there. So I liked the 375 area. I didn't get it. I didn't throw the bid out. And uh, it ended up bouncing 428 at one point from 375. But, um, you know, we had some interesting Apple. I was watching the 110 area. I didn't get it. It got very close. Got down to 110.89. I can't, I, I, like in hindsight, I'm still peeved at myself for not nibbling some even, you know, kind of in front of 110. But anyway, a uh, huge bounce from there too. Uh, over 10 bucks. Um, but let me throw this up, all right? Because I tweeted this today and I think it's important. So I'm gonna leave that up for a little bit. Um, I just think it's important that everybody understands that um, big losses are absolutely a necessary part of your growth. So understand that it can be the, I'm not gonna read it to you, you can read it yourself, but it, it, it can be the best money you've ever spent. Um, you just have to have the right mindset, right? Uh, I always tell people tap into that pain the next time you consider breaking a rule or averaging down something you know you're not supposed to do whatever you did wrong and you're considering it again when you've been through a painful loss tap into that pain and remember it and then use it to say you know what I'm not going through that again all right so you can make a big loss the best money you ever spent honestly day trading because um, you, you honestly you can't grow as a day trader unless you have unrelenting discipline you can't um, and you can't uh, you can't get unrelenting discipline unless you've really suffered some losses. That's, I mean, I can tell you what to do, but it doesn't, nothing, nothing I say or anyone else says is going to drill it into you like a painful, gut wrenching loss. That's the, so, you know, understand it's part of your growth and just tap into it and never do it again. All right. Um, all right. What are we watching for Tuesday? LMND. I got several bounce plays I'm watching. These are stocks that have just been, uh, you know, decimated over the last several days. Um, this thing came public back in uh, July and had an amazing IPO and then now is down to new all-time lows um, and and what I don't know seven eight nine ten days in a row down to take out you know to get to all-time lows on Friday um, to me that's a pretty good setup for a snapback bounce of course I'll only take it with a proper intraday setup remember I'm a day trader I'm in cash every night um, AUVI, another good example of one that IPO'd and now has basically hit all-time lows, I believe, on uh, on Friday as well. Just looking for a snapback bounce setup. Rocket Mortgage, another recent IPO. Three ugly days, and they reported, uh, I think, Thursday or Thursday night, maybe. Um, maybe Wednesday night. Yeah, it was this night, I think. Anyway, um, three ugly days after that. A really good prospect for a bounce coming up, in my opinion. Um, DOCU, another one that uh, three ugly days in a row. Um, you know, kind of back down into some support here now. So another candidate for a bounce play. Zoom, ZM, um, had the gap up on earnings. And then you've got three days lower. Actually kind of got it below the eight day uh, briefly on Friday. Another good candidate for a bounce. Um, LMPX, nice kind of, I don't know, four or five, six month cup and handle breakout. We're looking for a follow through day tomorrow. Tomorrow, Tuesday, sorry. Um, PLM. I think I was net four to five hundred dollars on this thing on uh, on Friday, but I I, I missed uh, some really nice entries and played a pullback play in it. Um, but anyway, 101 million shares traded, and I, I'll tell you the range. This thing went from 301 low of the day to 638 before settling in at 440. Now generally, I wouldn't even have this on watch because it's much closer to closer to the closed much closer to the low of day than the high of day. So I always look at that and say, hey, there's a lot of people underwater from intraday now on Friday. Um, but I'll give you one example. Where is it? Yeah, right here. Right here. Um, you know, it, it ripped to six, whatever. Um, let's see, six twenty-six, and then and then came crashing back down. And I bought the pullback somewhere in here and played this bounce and made a quick four or five hundred dollars, right? Um, but then look what happens and it slowly starts to grind back up and takes out the high again. And it did this. It looks like an errant tick, but it actually did this. Took out the highs and in that same five minute candle went, I mean, the range here, the high of this candle, 638 and the low 528. That all happened in five minutes. 
Um, and so then it rolled over, which I wasn't surprised to see. But my, the reason I'm pointing that out is if you're thinking about trading this on Tuesday, um, it's important to know <laughs> how nasty that thing got, right? So it's, it's not one of my favorites by any stretch because I, I actually watched that happen. OPES, nice volume spike on Wednesday, then Thursday and Friday, a couple lower days, but a nice green close on uh, Friday. So this one still goes on long watch. Um, CVAC, nice little, I mean, had a huge IPO here and then gapped up huge. Um, found really nice support between 55 and 60, and then a uh, nice pop on Friday. I'll tell you, Wayne called this long right here. You know we love whole number inflection points with catalysts above, right? We had the red to green and the high of day above. He had this kind of tight little flag below um, 60. He called it long second mouse through 60, which is right there and really never looked back and, and a very strong close as well. We're going to watch that again. Um, we're going to watch that again uh, on Tuesday for our, maybe a follow through day. Um, AUTO, really nice run, few days lower, um, closed about the same spot two days in a row now. But uh, again, in a week tape, this thing's holding up very well. So that one goes on long watch. Uh, IGC had this big pop, but gave a lot of it back on Thursday. Now Friday kind of edging back up inside day. So I definitely want to keep an eye on that one. A couple more. TCON, um, very, very strong breakout here. Friday and inside day. Um, but I'll tell you, that's a really strong close in an ugly tape on Friday. So we're going to watch that one. And then lastly, SRAX. Nothing really fancy here. Except that in after hours, I noticed it closed at 365. So, um, you know, if it does open up in this area, potential gap and go on uh, on Tuesday. All right. Anyway, I'm done babbling. Enjoy your memor Memorial Day. That's May. I'm losing it. Enjoy your Labor Day weekend. Um, and I'll see everybody in the chat room on Tuesday.